What is going on you guys? Sam Kramer back here with you today for another video. You guys probably just got done watching the fishing trip in Miami. Um, that was in March and right now it is, Ju I think, June 29th if I'm not mistaken. So it's about July. So this video um, is three months after we caught the Barracuda in Miami. So today, as you probably saw in the title and in the thumbnail, I just got my Barracuda mount back from Florida. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I also, I got the GoPro on. You guys are gonna get be getting two different angles of the unboxing. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's been hard not to post the video until this month and waiting, you know, two and a half, three months through quarantine, not doing anything been really hard not posting it um, I've really been holding back so all right guys we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna go get it out of the truck there she is we, we just moved so I had to go pick this up at my old house and bring it to the new house so waiting for this so long break out the old handy dandy knife what we're oh well okay we may may need more than a knife that's that's yeah that's all there that is all there all these freaking staples out just trying not to stab ourselves alrighty guys she's coming out I don't know how this is laying in here what direction the box says don't lay it flat so I'm just gonna Oh wow. Oh my gosh. There she is. Oh, that is so freaking sick. We gotta get some tools. I don't even know which ones I just picked. We're just gonna go with these. I don't even know. Ratchet probably would have been a lot easier. Last one. Here it goes. We got all the uh, nuts and bolts off. I think I don't need any to do anything else. Yeah, we're gonna have to do maybe. Okay. Whew. Nice. There it is. It's pretty, huh? It is. Whew. All right, guys. That's what she looks like straight out of the box. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna try to get some of this cardboard off. One sec. Oh man. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Look at the teeth on this thing. That is in freaking thing. Uh, oh my gosh. There it is, guys. There's the Barracuda mount. I know it's got this piece of wood, but um, behind it, I gotta get all that unbolted. It's just part of the shipping process, but, but there we go. Oh man, not gonna lie, it's a little expensive, but uh, man, it was it was worth just every freaking cent. Never had a fish mount before, so um, they did an awesome, awesome job on this. Just the the finish and just all the colors. Hopefully, you can see them freaking teeth. Look at that. Oh man, they just did a beautiful job on this. I'm super, super pleased. Alrighty, guys, so I'm gonna hop on the big camera real quick, just so I can kind of get you guys to show you guys a little bit of some close-ups super detailed we'll start kind of down here by the tail and everything so as you can see super super detailed um just all the lines the tail and the fins and all these spots he put on here that was super realistic even all the fine details like the tips of the tail the different colorings from purple to blue um even got my this is the plaques it's 45 inches 35 pounds where i caught it um yeah so we customized this um, the way I wanted it. So Miami Beach, Florida, this was on March 15th. So that was when the fishing video was taking place was March 15th. And now it's like I said, it's almost July. So man, this is so freaking epic. I mean, just look at these fins. Like they're so beautiful. And I got to give a shout out to Captain Stan. Um, he's one, he was our fishing guide and he, uh, he's the one who took us out in Miami to get on these Barracuda. Um, but as you can see in the video, it's super awesome. Like you just throw out these giant, I don't know what they were, maybe mackerel or something, just big bait fish. 
and yeah you just let that puppy sink put treble hooks all in its body and mouth and let it sink and these crazy barracudas just come up here with their those things yeah let's just say those will do some damage but anyways guys thank you all for watching um what we're gonna be doing is i'm gonna hopefully i don't, I don't know something this heavy we're gonna have to figure out i'm gonna get it on the wall gotta probably buy some special screws or something that's gonna be the next project thank you guys for watching see you on the next one